So what do you think about Canelo versus Bud, man? You know, Bud did good. But, I mean, Canelo did good with uh, Berlanga. Did he supposed to what everybody expected. Do you think Terrence Crawford is ready for that test? I think you're looking at both Terrence Crawford and Canelo towards the end of their careers. So I think this is a good time for them to put it together and do it. You know, Bud, from a smaller weight class, it's not the ideal thing for him to do if he was a regular fighter, but it is Bud that you're talking about. He's very crafty, he's very experienced. I think he could, um, you know, go in there and box the shit out of Canelo, but I just think it's a bad idea to try to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with them naturally bigger, stronger, power-punching Canelo. You understand what I'm saying? So there's always more than one way to skin a cat. So he's going to be able to outbox him, but I just tell like this, he don't need to fight him. But Bud is stronger than most people think he is. You know, so we all have to learn that against Earl Spence. He's way stronger than you think he is. You know what I'm saying? So I take nothing away from him. I got nothing but respect for Bud, nothing but respect for Canelo, and I think they need to do it and get the biggest bag they can get Can we prize fighters. You know what I'm saying? So get the big bag and run a laugh your asses to the bank. I'm a buy from row seats, you know what I'm saying? What well, you thought about the Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubois fight this past weekend? I loved it. I loved it. I already called out, told everybody that Dubois was coming up. He's been upsetting everybody. The last couple of fights been upset, and that was the third upset in a row. Three's a charm. And I knew it was going to be Joshua because he's just a heavy puncher. You know what I'm saying? He's solid. He's durable. You know, he went the distance with Big Baby Miller, and I was a heavier Big Baby Miller. So Joshua ain't going to do nothing to Dubois. You know what I'm saying? He's just a heavy-handed guy, and, and I, I want to see him fight you see. Mm. That's the fight I want to play from C4, too. It makes more saying? sense, honestly. It makes more sense. For a lot of people would rather see it. For all the more. Right. So how do you feel about Bacoli? You know, he just also um, beat Jared, but he just made a big name for himself and things like that. Could you see Bacoli fight one of them guys come soon? Yeah, I just feel Jared, if Jared had a different game, he could have beat Bacoli. But you cannot just give him a credit for it. For um, Anderson fighting the wrong fight, uh, Bacotti's this and that. Don't get me wrong, Scottish dude is like a, a power lifter. He's super strong, but he got beat by Michael Hunter before. And you know, Jared is a bigger puncher than Michael Hunter, but Michael just got the experience and he knows how to play the game. See, because Jared's inexperience is what beat Jared Anderson. It wasn't because of he wasn't there or was he there or not. You know what I'm saying? I, I thought Jared could have pulled it off. I just felt like after he got dropped, he needed to box a little bit, regain his composure, and, and keep everything in front of him. Instead, he wanted to go back and fight. But Bacoli, he earned it. So if you put him there with somebody else, then we can see what, what it's really about. Okay. All right, man. Javon Hill Fight Hype. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Already, man.